हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू अनदर सेशन इन डेंटिस्ट्री एंड मोर तो दिस टॉपिक इज जिंजेबल टिश्यू रिट्रैक्शन मेथड्स इट कम्स एंड फिक्सड पार्शल टेंशन सो एज पर जी पी टी द डेफिनेशन ऑफ जिंजेबल रिट्रैक्शन और डिसप्लेसमेंट इट इज अ डिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ द मार्जिनल जिंजेवा एवे फ्रॉम द टूथ सो इट इट बी द टूथ so we have marginal gingiva here so we are going to reflect this marginal gingiva so we need to reflect this part okay so we need to reflect it so that it will be more visible and we get a finer details of the cervical portion of the tooth okay so that is gingival tissue retraction so why it is so important in fpd that is it gives a proper access to the prepared tooth then for the reproduction of the finish line so finish line is what we see here because finish line is very much important in our fpd so there will be finish line is the uh, most cervical part of the preparation so reproducing the finish line and also to duplicate the subgingival margins very accurately and providing the best possible condition uh, for the impression material and also it helps in fluid control so precision of the restoration for prevention of periodontal disease also can be a need of gingival tissue retraction so there are two types of gingival displacement as possible one is lateral movement or lateral displacement another one is apical or vertical displacement so this lateral displacement nothing but the tissue is deflected from the tooth okay laterally so it helps to uh, helps us to take a proper impression because this impression material Uh, will be interface with the prepared tooth when it is deflected laterally and uh, another displacement is apical or vertical what it does is it exposes the uncut portion of the tooth apical to the finish line so the problem is it may cause trauma of the gingival tissue uh, followed by recession so we have four methods of gingival retraction the first one is mechanical okay so first one we have mechanical and the second one combination of chemical mechanical and the third one is ginger touch it is nothing but the rotary gingival cure attach okay and we have electro surgery these are the four basic methods and also we may have combination of uh, any of the above so we'll start with uh, the first one that is mechanical tissue dilation so mechanical it is a uh, one of the first and earliest method uh, used for physically displacing the gingiva okay so this is our tooth and we have okay so this is our gingiva marginal gingiva so how do we displace using mechanical method the first one is impression material filled copper band or tube then rubber dam copper band then rubber dam then we have uh, acrylic resin and like a metal crown 
temporary metal crown so all these can be used to physically displace the tissue from the tooth so this uh, copper band or tube is nothing but uh, we put a copper band which is filled with impression material like the copper band will be filled with impression material okay so this copper band will be inserted here and it deflects the gingiva okay so it will be deflected it will be deflected so it will be filled with the impression material so we can use uh, gutta bosha impression compound elastomeric material or autopolymerizing resin as a compound which is filled in this so the advantage is it is a good method to confirm the gingival margins that is in multiple abutments but the problem is it causes the injury to the gingival tissues and it create excess pressure so it can stipple the tissue from the tooth the second method uh, the copper this is a copper band the second method is rubber dam uh, rubber dam as uh, all we know we put uh, for the restoration purpose the rubber dam isolation the same technique uh, the main, the main advantages are uh, during the tooth preparation it exposes the finish line in a better way and also uh, the impressions obtained are uh, will be of good quality because of the better fluid control but the problem with uh, the rubber dam is it is useful only when limited number of teeth in one quadrant are being restored and uh, used in simple preparations with minimal subgingival uh, preparation it cannot be used on many teeth mainly on one quadrant it can be used so the next one we have the acrylic resin a temporary acrylic resin coping is constructed and the inside it is relieved by 1 mm and adhesive is applied and elastomeric impression material is placed and reseated the tissue is displaced when the material mechanically fill into the sulcus so the same way but thing is we use a acrylic resin coping so a complete arch impression is subsequently made over the coping and it become as integral part of the impression so that is a acrylic uh, resin so we can also use temporary metal crowns filled with thermoplastic stopping material okay so temporary metal crowns so first we need to select a correct size trim to conform to the gingival contour and the margins then it is smoothened after that fill it with compound impression compound or gutta percha and under occlusal pressure it is forced into the predetermined position so the excess material from the gingival end will displace the free gingiva then this material is trimmed without excessive pressure and cemented with temporary cement for 24 hours then final impression made in the next appointment okay so that is a temporary metal crown all these are using physical pressure that is why it is known as mechanical method to displace the gingiva so one is copper band rubber dam acrylic resin and temporary metal crown uh, we can also use one more method is there in mechanical that is uh, strings or fibers Okay, that I forgot to mention. So it is plain uh, cotton thread or unwaxed flows, cotton cord or elastic retraction rings. So plain braided, netted, or any other type can be used. Wet or dry, it can be used to retract the gingiva. So the second method we have uh, chemical mechanical one. Okay, so the chemical mechanical one, the second method. it is a mechanical aspect it is a combination okay okay so we have chemical method and also mechanical so the mechanical aspect involves placement of a string into the gingival sulcus to displace the tissue okay so we have a tooth here 
so first what we are doing is we keep a string around the gingiva to displace the tissue so that part is mechanical part then the chemical aspect involves treatment of the string so treatment of the string with one or more number of chemical compounds that will induce temporary shrinkage okay that will induce temporary shrinkage and there will be control of hemorrhage and fluid seepage so the first part is mechanical there will be a string which will be inserted into the gingival sulcus then we apply some chemicals so that will induce temporary shrinkage of the tissue and control of hemorrhage and fluid seepage so usually uh, the cotton twills uh, the size of flows are rolled into creamy mixture of zinc oxide cement and these uh, several twills are placed in the sulcus minimum 48 hours is recommended for placement but not more than 5 to 7 days but the problem is there will be circular hemorrhage during the packing okay. so it is mixed with a chemical with the mechanical method using pressure being applied using a string so retraction code can be uh, it can be twisted knitted and braided type okay so that is um, chemical mechanical methods and there are various uh, recs also being used uh, for gingival displacement such as epinephrine that is uh, 0.1 to 0.8% epinephrine 100% uh, potassium alum sulfate and 5 to 25 percentage of aluminum chloride ferric subsulfate uh, then zinc chloride tannic acid so all these are chemicals used to retract the gingiva so next method we have ginger tage so that is nothing but uh, the rotary gingival curettage so it is also known as troughing of a trough so a technique of using rotary diamond instrument to enlarge the sulcus so it involves preparation of the tooth subgingivally while simultaneously curating the inner lining of the gingival sulcus okay so we use this is gingiva we use a diamond bar that will remove the portion of uh, tooth subgingivally also the inner lining of gingiva okay so this is a part of tooth and this is the inner lining of gingiva so the goal is to eliminate the trauma from pressure and the need for electro surgical procedures so suitability of the gingiva for ginger touch is the absence of bleeding from probing and sulcus tip uh, should be less than 3 mm and presence of adequate keratinized gingiva is very essential so that is a uh, troughing or gingival dilation so the process is a trough is created that extends from the crystal height of the gingiva so we can say this is a crystal height so this is a crest okay crystal height of the gingiva to a point that is 0.3 to 0.4 millimeter apical to the finish line so finish line will be here so it is from the crest 0.3 to 0.4 apical to the finish line using a fully rectified current so indications are where the areas of inflammation and granulation tissue around the tooth in cases where it is impossible to retract the gingiva and also to enlarge the sulcus and also to control hemorrhage to remove irritated tissue 
that has proliferated over the finish line in all these cases we can opt ginger tage but the main problem with ginger tage is it is contraindicated in patients with cardiac pacemakers insulin pump and very fine marginal gingiva with little or no attached gingiva it is highly contraindicated and presence of inflammable anesthetics or other agents and there will be delayed healing due to debilitating disease and radiation therapy and the method next we have as electro surgery electro surgery which is also known as electro cautery okay so this is uh, actually a confusing term electro surgery and electro cautery because uh, in electro cautery which uh, uses uh, direct current okay but we are using alternative current so and during this electro cautery uh, the current does not enter the patient's body only the heated wire comes in contact with the tissue in electro surgery the patient is included in the circuit okay patient is in the patient is in circuit but in electro cautery the patient is not in the circuit only the heater wire comes in contact with the tissue the basic mechanism of action is control tissue destruction current flows through a small cutting electrode and it produces high current density and rapid temperature rise so cells directly adjacent to the electrode are destroyed due to the high temperature okay so we need to keep uh, some tissue considerations such as uh, keep the electrode in motion and we should have appropriate current setting larger the electrode greater the current required and 5 to 10 seconds between the applications we need to leave uh, tissue must be moist electrode must remain free of any tissue fragments and electrode must not touch any metallic restrictions so the advantages are um, clear operating area without or no bleeding healing by primary intention lack of pressure to incise tissues and less tissue loss after healing but the main problem with electro surgery is there will be a unpleasant odor uh there will be burn mark on the root surface and it is not suitable for thin gingiva okay so these are the four techniques used for gingival tissue retraction uh for the fpd construction okay in order to take a, a proper impression of the gingival area that is the finish line and the cervical area so we have mechanical methods and we learned uh the Uh, types such as rubber dam uh, the temporary crown acrylic uh, all those methods and we have chemical mechanical where the, uh, the cord will be pushing into the gingival sulcus and later the chemical will be added then ginger tage using a rotary uh, instrument and this is electro surgery okay so that's all about gingival tissue retraction methods hope you understood this concept so it is uh, commonly asked short note or maybe uh, a short essay okay so i'll come up with a new topic in prosthodontics thank you